Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. So for today, we actually bought ourselves an RV as you can tell by the thumbnail. So this thing is definitely burnt crisp. But let's go to the computer and I'll tell you why we bought it, what we bought, and what we're planning to do with it. So about two months ago, we got ourselves a 2015 Winnebago Sunstar that was smashed in the front end, but we were able to make it run and drive. So we just parked in the back and we're wondering, you know, maybe we'll fix it, we don't know what we're gonna do with it. So fortunately, we were looking at Copart and we found ourselves a great parts one. It's a 2016, this day, but they're the same front end. The only problem is this thing is in Fresno, California, which is about 3,000 miles away from our location. So we basically won it, it went pretty cheap, we got it. Bad thing is it's very far. So our options are either we drive over there with the truck and trailer and haul this thing back. Getting this thing shipped to our place is gonna cost a lot of money, so that's definitely not an option. That'll cost maybe four times more than what we paid for it, and it makes the parts really expensive. We're not gonna do that. Good news is it's exactly what we need. So we got that front clip. There's a lot of other parts on there. Honestly, it's perfect. Ideal for our situation, but it's just so far away. So we're gonna look into our other options that we have. Maybe we'll fly over there, get ourselves a box truck, chop that thing up, throw the parts in there and drive it back. Who knows? But honestly, I don't know if I wanna go with that option after our school bus situation, cause that thing was running drive and we broke down a couple times. That was definitely a journey and that was only about six hours away. So three day journey with that, that's definitely gonna be a lot of work. I don't know if we wanna go that route. But fortunately we have cousins in Sacramento and in Fresno. So we could call them up and see if they could help us out. Maybe we could figure something out as well. My dad is a truck driver with a car delivery. So maybe he could help us out as well. So that's really nice. All right guys, so what I'm thinking we're gonna do is have the parts RV shipped over to my cousin's shop in Fresno. Probably get it towed over there, then we'll be able to work on it at his yard. We'll fly over there, chop it up, and put on my dad's semi truck, and he'll bring it back. I think that'll be the safest bet for us. So we'll just get some round trip flights, fly over there, get the job done, and fly back, and then my dad will just haul it, because. I don't know, three days, driving back on something we don't know. Obviously, we're not gonna drive this thing back. It's really bad condition. You can tell burnt inside completely. It's crispy. There's still good parts on it, but the interior is gone. We're not gonna risk trying to drive it back. I know we're crazy, but not that crazy. I mean, this one's pretty bad. And if we say it's pretty bad, then usually it's pretty bad. So definitely not gonna drive it, but I say we find some tickets and we fly over there. So guys we're here at beautiful sacramento california here's my uncle's truck and trailer so basically we can take this thing down three hours to fresno and hopefully check out the rv and that's where we're going to chop it get all the goodies get all the good parts put it on our trailer and we can what, get what it. if we can start it we're i mean it. that would be crazy i doubt it you know that's not really the game plan but hey if we can drive it start it we'll see what happens kind of thing but as, you know as long as we get down there check it out and see what this thing's all about because i've never even seen it yet you know it's definitely been an adventure already getting here but it's always nice being with family a little bit so we're hanging out a little bit but now let's go back to work get down to fresno guys there we go we made it and there she is it's hard to tell what's going on because it's so dark so we'll definitely check it out in the morning but hey it's there it's you know just like the pictures very burnt <laughs> but one piece so kind of excited about it there's bear he's big <laughs> he's here it's all good but let's just wait till the morning and see what's going on
What do you think, Michael? All right, we definitely got ourselves a project. Welcome back, guys. It's the next morning. So that's what we're gonna work on. So we're just gonna check it out. But before we do that, we're actually gonna go and get some breakfast because we just woke up and we had a long day yesterday. Probably get some tools too, so we'll be ready for it. But yeah, now we can see. So let's get some food. All right, all right, guys, just driving around. We got some tools with us. We got some breakfast, feeling good. Let's go ahead and head back to the shop. And now we really check out what we bought and what we got ourselves into and what we came all the way down to California for. All right. I just went to our local Harbor Freight, just got some tools, you know, the basics, things you need for RV repair or extraction. So, got some stuff, safety glasses, and, you know, masks, because all that particle stuff, we don't want to breathe none of that. Sawzalls, little cutters. Yeah, we're going to get it. So what, what's the game plan? We got, well, let's check this thing out. Let's see, because we got that wrecked one that's wrecked in the front. So we need a lot of the front end parts. Let's go around and see if there's anything else left of it that's good, you know, because yeah, yeah. if we can sell some parts off of it, that'd be great. If you can't, it is what it is, but I still think we got a good deal on this. I think we'll show the price at the end of the video. Right, we'll just calculate the cost, how much it costs us to be here, you know, get here kind of thing, how much we've been spent already. But overall, I mean, that's kind of what it takes to fix a wrecked RV like that, because so parts are just so hard to find, first of all, and second of all, so expensive. Honestly, a little metal rail could be like $800. It's pretty insane, so... That's why we're out here, but let's just go over this thing, check it out. I mean, some pretty crazy stuff going on in the inside for sure, but hey, we don't really need the inside. Our inside's fine. It's more like the outside, some of the structure, you know, all those little nitpick things for sure. But let's check it out. So I'm just gonna look at the good real fast. I mean, our front end is there. Basically all the fiberglass pieces, lights, fog lights. That's really good. We need all of this for sure. Looks like our hood's missing. Maybe it's inside. Maybe we'll find it, hopefully, who knows. Uh, our glass is broken, but overall it looks smaller than our other glass that we had. Our little, you know, Vegas, whatever we had, access and stuff. So Does that mean it should be cheaper? Hopefully, but you never know. It still could be $3,000 <laughs> just for a front glass. We'll definitely shop around, but hey, windshield wipers are there, you know, all the little accessories. We're going to take all that stuff with us. You know, we need all these little pieces. Engines there, radiator. I mean, it looks like you have your intake, wires. Oh, radio support, things like that. All the stuff we yeah. need, but... We're going to see a lot more once we actually get the whole front face off. So we'll know what's going on. There might be a little burnt damage back there anyway, but we'll see. Let's move on to the other side. So our RV is basically smashed on this side. So it's nice that we have this piece of glass right here. Ours is hit. But it's the same thing. So basically this whole side, we're just going to try to cut off and have this whole piece, this whole panel. The mirror we're going to grab. Looks like our glass is broken, but the frame is still there. So that's nice. So we're just going to grab that and then order a piece of glass for that. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice aluminum wheels right there going on. I'm sure those are high dollar too, you know? If we make a little list and boom, 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 start adding it up. Hopefully that'll count the cost and be worth it. We got some hydraulic jacks underneath there. Awning still going. So we're probably kind of like right there, Ivan, right? Hopefully this whole section will get. The whole wall, yeah. yeah like I'm saying, these little rails right here will slide out. They're also expensive. Everything's so expensive in these RVs. Plus, I think I need, we think we need one of the the doors now right i think one of our doors is damaged a little bit so hey we have it here why don't you look inside let's yeah. see what's inside Check there nice little storage compartment nothing nothing but look at all that space and it looks pretty good inside nice that's good what about the next one we got some pots and pans a little coffee maker 
but overall still plenty of space i like how it goes over to the other side too it's a nice little pretty camper. nice pretty cool we're gonna keep going we're not gonna go inside just yet let's just go you know around the camper first so it's got the electric steps that's pretty cool it'll slide out when you open the door our handle's still there that's what's important you know and look it's already venting the window's open halfway that's so a, you know it's a really big out. window too look at that thing that thing's huge it's got the big awning too maybe this awning's still good maybe That'd they're, they're nice. actually expensive too they are you know just unbolt the awning and good to go it's got that metal protective casing over the awning so it's against weather and stuff so not sweet. bad what is what's inside of here uh tv, a TV? Yeah. ours didn't have that remember we just had speakers yeah maybe oh. this tv's good wow slides out Fancy. let's just watch some tv michael you think this tv's gonna work our last one didn't i doubt it maybe i mean i don't see why not the tv itself looks fine Look at all those brackets and stuff. Oh, like, dusty. Oh, legit. oh, wow. And a remote. Yeah, look at this tray coming out. That's probably worth at least like 10 bucks. At least. For sure. Just NicoBrothers.com. We might have it on there. Sliding TV. I mean, you could even go bigger. I don't see why they put in such a small one, you know? Upgrade. We can upgrade it, Michael. It's not on this RV. Just push it back and you're chilling. What's on the bottom then? Let's see figure out how to put this thing back though. So that's a neat little find for sure. I mean, nice little TV slide out because usually they're like right here, but that's a whole mechanism going on. Moving right along. All right, I got some house batteries. They might be good. Uh, maybe. Well, disconnected. Yeah, disconnect, take them out. I mean, who knows? But either way, you still have all these drawers and stuff. I mean, this is all money too, this frame for it and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Look at the rear wheel. So this room looks pretty good. We could probably take it. Um, the rear really? one, I don't know if it's an aluminum too. The back one? Wow. But tires are good. Because we do need some stuff, but then this slide's slidding out a little bit. What about the um what's inside the drawers? Big old drawer. Oh look, we can use that plastic little, thing. Little tote. It says no, dogs man. on it. Alright. Alright, be careful, Michael. Bear's right there. Yeah. Little bear? Bear. High five. High five bear. Denied. Lapu, Lapu. He's he's he's, he's exhausting. Yeah. Good boy, uh, hopefully, I think the generator's over here. There it is. Oh wow, that's there a big it one. is. It's a big boy. Yeah. Definitely so, gonna get that out somehow. Figure it out. I don't know. Never took a generator out before an RV, but maybe that bad, right? Yeah. I'm sure it's a couple bolts, a couple wires, and we'll get it right out. So from looking from this side. I gotta say, this side doesn't look that bad. There's a lot of good parts to lift on it. And then there's the back panel that we might take. I think this is a heater or something, right? Gas heater? It looks like it. Got the tail lights, whole rear end, got a backup camera, a ladder. Might go up there, right? Check it out. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's basically the good side. Most of the good. Maybe some stuff underneath. And here's the bad. Basically, definitely the damaged side. I don't know, a lot of this we're not going to touch, not going to do anything with it, but uh, no, nothing. What's it's, in there? I don't know, maybe it's locked. Maybe Break we'll find some keys and stuff inside. That'd be kind of fun to open. Water heater right here. But it does look kind of damaged too inside, so it's probably toast. I mean, you never know. Maybe the stuff fell on top of it. The crazy part is there's the gas tank right there. And it's good. You know, it's got the wires are melted a little bit. Looks like it has a uh, rear heating. Well, so it was an internal fire, not a driving fire or whatever. This side looks kind of toast, these tires. Yeah, this wall's gone. These the rims fridge. are still probably fine, but tires are bad. But tires, you know, no more wear and tear. We can get some tires, but look at that. This fridge almost about to pop out. Dang. It's a pretty big slide out though, for sure. I mean, how many slide outs does it have? Three? Three big slide outs on it? This was a cool RV, for sure. I mean, this looks like it's got a washer dryer right there. Or was a washer dryer. A little converter right there. Converter, converter, yeah. Probably take that. Who knows? Yeah. What's in this cabinet? Got some oil. We need some, right? Uh, I don't know this time. I don't know if we need oil on our flight back home. <laughs> not a school bus adventure, but. Another compartment. So, not bad. I think this door we might need too, though. Yeah, I think it's one of these doors. And I think that's one of the control panel. Um, yeah, so there's our pump right there for the hydraulic system, our self-leveling jacks, and our propane tank, which is pretty cool. I mean, whatever. And they got the front rim and its whole side in the mirror. Yep. 
So we'll still probably take this frame. Like I said, we'll still take this side as well. Even though I think our driver's side was pretty good, right? I mean, it was more of a passenger, but just yeah. in case. Mirror's good. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of good parts. I think we did, you know, a good deal. So let's tell them how much we paid for it. Well, let's go inside. Let's check out the inside. Let's just open the door and... Go in there? Yeah. There's a lot of skylights, so it's not bad. Oh, boy. Huh. Weird. Our steps aren't working. Hey, we'll just... hook, up, hook up the battery. I'll just wait a minute. No, probably not going to work yet. <laughs> let's do it. Okay. It's got a low ceiling. Oh, boy. Dang. The drive shaft so what right what happened to this thing, Michael? Look, they didn't use it. Right? You think it still works? A fire extinguisher that's melted. That's ironic. Hey, at least there's no smoke detector beeping. Yeah, that burned away too. That was just keys. Look how much room there is inside. Uh, not ceiling room, but around. There's some keys here. So maybe we'll start it. We got driver keys, front keys, side keys, door keys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's inside the box? Let me get my gloves before we start throwing all this away, but kind of need the stuff up there. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's a huge mess for sure. I don't know what people just put all their trash in there or something, but man, it's pretty crazy. Just fiberglass, so tapping screws, and aluminum frame, as you can tell. And look how it's welded. It's like two little welds. It's not like the whole thing's welded. <laughs> so it'll be easy to get our parts that we need. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to cut this thing apart because there's not much holding it together so moving it right along to the back but really quick so this is like the other side our camper is just like mirrored but that's the tv right there in that desk that should pop up as well and you got your couch so definitely more of a chilling rv i wouldn't say it's like for a big family or anything probably for a couple and a lot of hanging out or at least it was let's keep going look at all this wire harness though dang you know it runs through there yep so there's the drive shaft right there Definitely not driving this back to South Carolina. 3,000 road trip that we're not going to take. Because that would be insane. I mean, we just cut everything off and that's it. So we've got it. The, the old trailer. I had a washer and dryer. I guess they still have it. Parts of it. Man, we should put our mask on it. Oh, look, there's there's a stove right there. The microwave. Yeah. I guess that wasn't a fridge. Yeah, where's the fridge at then? Maybe it fell out. Maybe it was like right here. Yeah. Probably caught on fire. It's usually a fridge fire. Well, then this is, look, this is a room right here. This is a hallway. This was a bathroom. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is a bathroom. bathroom and back maybe the fridge was right there. Dang. Mm, master bedroom right there. From water flood cars to burnt crisp RVs. Kind of do it all, you know? All sorts of damages. Okay. All right. Let's go check out the front and do a price reveal. Yeah. All right, guys, let's talk about the price. Basically, all you have to do is just take this lot number, and if you check out Autostat, honestly, that's a secret. That's what we use. All the dealers, all the people that flip cars, autostat.com. We'll leave a link down below. Check it out, guys. You'll get all the price. So you just type in the VIN number or the lot number, and it'll tell you exactly how much we bought it for. And this 2016 Class A motorhome, we got it for 1500 bucks. So, yeah, I, don't, I think that's a good deal. We were about to win it for a lot less. But then somebody started clicking against us. We're going, going, just me and somebody. I forgot who it was, but I think it was California. California, they're going at it. We're about to win it for like three hundred dollars. So I was like, yeah. But then fifteen hundred bucks, still not bad. Cost us about eight hundred dollars to get a tow to our cousin's lot, you know, because then we could actually work on it. Because you can't really work on a copart yard. They'll get mad for good reasons. But yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. We still have a lot of work ahead of us. Make sure you stay tuned. We are going to show you the price, how much everything costs us, flights, getting it back home. Why not? Here you go, guys. You know, if you ever wanted a big old RV project, we'll let you know how it goes. But make sure you hit that notification bell, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll catch you next time.